Hello, this is the tutorial for the introduction to Quantlib part 5. In the tutorial last time, I have shown you how to construct all the objects that are required to price a plant vanilla options in Quantlib. You may find that the structure looks bulky, but you will understand the benefit of the structure after we go through this part of the tutorial which is about how to modify a few components in these structures and then we can easily come up with the option price with the jump diffusion. At first, let's talk about the jump diffusion modeling. Under the typical geometric binary motions modeling, the stock price movement is continuous along the timeline. But in reality, we may encounter unexpected events occasionally and that will make the stock price jump up and down discontinuously. So the jump diffusion modeling is trying to model the jump behavior of the stock price movement on top of the Brownian motions with the consideration of the unexpected events. To model the jump diffusions Firstly, we should model how often the jump may occur. It can be modeled by Poisson distributions, where the parameters lambda indicates the number of jumps per year. Secondly, we should model how big the jump is when it occurs. It can be modeled by log normal distribution where the parameter sigma indicates the jump volatility and the parameter mu indicates the jump mean. So in summary, in addition to the previous parameters Three more parameters are introduced to do the option pricing with the jump diffusion. In Quantlib, we can choose the jump diffusion engine to replace the previous Black Souls engines as the pricing model. To create the jump diffusion object, we should specify Merton 76 process and its parameters including those for the jump diffusion. Namely, the jump intensity, the jump mean, and the jump volatility. This is the original structure for the Black Souls model. And this is the modified structure for the jump diffusion model with the additional jump parameters. Again, before we do the programming, let's set up a test case first. From the internet, we can find some research paper that compare the option pricing between the typical Black Souls model versus the Merton 76 jump diffusion model.
These are parameters commonly used for both the black shows and the jump diffusions. These are the jump diffusion parameters particularly. And these are the results. It is reasonable to see that the option price under the jump diffusion model is higher than the one under the black shows model because of the additional volatility introduced by the jumps. Here I put down the summary of this test case. One thing we should aware is that the research paper used 248 trading days as the date count convention so we should create our own day counter class first in order to get the correct calculation for the maturity time and the option price so now let's start modifying the previous program to come up with the option pricing with jump diffusion firstly let's copy the day counter class business 252 into our project folders and then modify it into 248 trading days. Find all 252 tests and replace them by 248. Change the include path. and add the class files into the solution.
After creating the new date count object, we can use it in our code accordingly. Next, let's specify the jump intensity, the jump mean, and the jump volatility into our program. Now we have finished specifying all the parameters that lead to price and option with the jump diffusion. We can move on to construct the rest of the objects. First, we construct the quote objects, the pointers and the handles of the jump intensity, the jump volatility and the jump mean objects. Then we construct the stock movement objects and the pointer of the object. Then we construct the pricing engine objects and assign it to the pricing engine for the option. Now we have finished constructing all the objects. Finally, let's write the code to output the result to the output window. Okay, now we are ready to compile the code. The compilation is success. Let's run the code and see what happened. Here is the option price from Black Shows. And here is the option price from the jump diffusion. As you can see, the results match with the one calculated from the research paper. 
Okay, that's all in this part of the tutorial. You can see that by breaking down the options pricing into smaller components, we can easily come up with the option price with the jump diffusion by replacing a few components. There is no need to start from scratch and therefore reducing the programming time and error. In the next tutorial, I will talk about the option pricing by the Monte Carlo simulation method that can also fit into this option pricing structure in Quantlib. See you next time.